everybody. This is uh this is a very fun and special episode I'm doing today. This is uh the the week of midnight. This is uh <laughs> the week of midnight comic books. I got uh, a bunch of the artists and creators going on with midnight comics talking about their roles in the company and the characters that you all are reading about currently. And uh today I have uh uh is it is it Toshi? Tashi. Tashi. I don't know it's gonna mess that up. If you guys listen to every episode, I I, I mess up names often. So, Tashi, You're welcome good. to the I episode. watch every episode. You're good. <laughs> I appreciate <laughs> it. <laughs> so, you are, you are like one of the, the head creators of Midnight Comics, and you created one of the, one of the, one of the flagship characters, uh, a mm-hmm. part of the whole mythos, right? Yep. So, and, co-founder, co-creator, and the comic Edmani is my baby. That's my character that I came up with, that I'm writing, that I'm doing, that one I'm doing by myself. Tell me about that character, Amani. <laughs> so Amani is a young Black girl. And even though in the issue one in Tales from Midnight, that is up for pre-order right now, that was just handed to me, <laughs> <laughs> um, we get to see a little bit of her power. That's actually the future. When we first see her, we're not going to really see a lot of powers we're gonna see a lot more of mental stuff going on. We're gonna get a look into her mental health, into her mindset, into everything that's going on because she has these powers. But the problem is she also has this fear of using these powers. So she's struggling internally, like there's stuff going on that I could probably do a better job helping out if I use these powers, but there's this fear of using them and I don't wanna hurt anybody or myself. So sounds like we get a to see very, that journey. Sounds like a, like a very hyperactive uh, escape of like how some people suffer from imposter syndrome, but like it's with her powers instead. A little bit, yeah. She um, she's based off of me, so she's she's got social anxiety, anger problems, depression, and definitely a bit of that imposter syndrome going on. Huh. And like, why, why fire? Why fire? Why do you give her the power of fire over all over powers that were that were like, you know, out there in a superhero world? I've always had this crazy interest in fire. I used to call myself a pyromaniac growing up. <laughs> um, my parents would tell you I got a lot of whoopings for burning stuff in my house. <laughs> <laughs> in the house, all right. <laughs> cool. I don't do crazy stuff like that anymore. You don't have to worry about me burning nothing down or setting anything on fire. But when I was a kid, I'm pretty sure I got a handful of whoopings because I burned stuff in my house. And I've just always had this fascination with fire. All my favorite character most of my favorite characters and shows have some kind of fire power my favorite anime is sailor moon my favorite sailor scout is sailor mars like <laughs> she's she's a fire one yeah she's yep. she's a bit of a hothead and you also you and your husband also have another character uh i'm, I'm calling you guys deloitte's by the way that's like the, the joneses <laughs> that's the joneses that's a name of like your title for both of you guys greetings characters uh well, we are we are with the joneses so. I, I dig it i'm all Hooping up it. with the joneses that's <laughs> see there it <laughs> is <laughs> and uh you have another character uh the gray uh shamika day shamika uh, mm-hmm. day she's also the gray and she's uh like talking talking with uh Talking with your husband, he tells me she is more like a Reed Richards type character, very hyper intelligent, one of one of like the, mm-hmm. the flagship characters of Midnight Comics. How did you guys come yeah. up with this character? Oh man, what were we doing when we figured out the gray? It was just one of those. It was <laughs> he would know more about how we came up with Shamika. Especially that's Shamika is his favorite character right now. Like <laughs> so out he of all me, our yeah. main characters, that's his <laughs> favorite. I'm her. sure he'll <laughs> say that multiple times when he's on <laughs> but um but what another i don't remember how exactly we came up with her but i do know we were thinking about all the tropes of black characters especially black women in comics and it's like why can't we ever just especially ones that are focused on have a black woman who's in stem who's smart Like we don't get that a lot. And then the few we do, they just get set to the side. Like there's so many cool DC black superheroines that we don't even see anymore ever. Like by power girls. Whether they're smart or not. And we were just like, we want a black woman who's into STEM. She's a scientist. 
so some little black girls can see black women scientists she's got the natural hair you know she's she's just there she exists the because black girl, women scientists girl, like, exist okay. yeah you know, like I, I think about that when I was, when I was checking out this comic book. I think about uh, Dino Girl. I was thinking about uh, Power Girl from uh, DC Comics. I was thinking about uh, uh, mm-hmm. Riri from Ironheart. Think about all those characters right. who have that, that that high intelligence attached to them. Also, like a very mm-hmm. leader quality, but uh, like they, they they don't get as much play as you see. Like, mm-hmm. and I, I do I do see that you're trying to put Gray into the forefront of of this entire entire mythos you guys have going on it's like i'm, I'm all right, about she, seeing like what she does next right she, she's essentially become probably our staple character our, yeah. the face character of like she's on all the stuff she's on one of the like the big poster things i dress up as her i was gonna say it, and like that's how, that's how i met you dress up as her so <laughs> yeah <laughs> came up and I had the big afro with the oh, yeah. in the body suit and, the, <laughs> and I have actually upgraded my suit too. I have the the knee pads now. Very cool. Um, I'm all for as it. As well as uh, I think the proper shoes. So like yeah, the costume's been getting upgraded. You're really decking it out. I like it. And like you, you yourself, you are, you're Desmond. You're an actor. You've been acting for a good while now. Like you have a lot, a lot of uh a lot of skits that you've done with TikTok, you put those on Instagram and all mm-hmm. the other platforms. You've also been doing like a uh, different roles all over Georgia, right? Mm-hmm. So a like- lot of YouTube. Um, I've been acting since I was in middle school. Wow. I got in drama club and then I fell in love. And so in high school, I did the advanced theater courses. In college, I went off to college to actually study theater. My word. And so then i started doing little things and then i got married and had kids <laughs> I really and it took a break yeah so now i'm trying to get back out there so of course you already know that i'm doing a play in atlanta in in november mm-hmm. um i just got back off set i'm gonna go be on a different set tomorrow for a movie coming out called la la crocodile it's based off a children's book and so yeah i'm trying to get get my thing going <laughs> how does that how that how does that 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 influence and that education translate to you being a comic book creator also like how do you how do you put those two things together well i was a writer first wow i started writing in elementary school like six years old i have a bunch of old really crappy poems (laughs) from when i was like six (laughs) but i kept doing that through life and so i also of course write some short skits i actually have a couple of short films that i have written and i'm just like I'm not a like a, a cinematographer. I'm not a videographer, so my quality of stuff be really crappy. But I still want to do it. So I also have some other skits from movies I've done that I just kind of have on hold on YouTube. You know how you can upload stuff privately right. and then wait and schedule it. It's just sitting there, just sitting, <laughs> sitting there, on right private. On. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna post them eventually. But you know, just I'm I've just always been a creative person started writing when I was little and I fell in love with the theater. Uh, I've dabbled into music and singing on occasion. And I think we have a little special thing with that later. And then like the only thing I can't, I can't, can't dance <laughs> super well. <laughs> I can dance at a party, but I'm not like, I'm not, you're not going to get like super ballet moves out of me. <laughs> and I can't draw. <laughs> Well, I, I used think, to play violin. I think you said like one of your posts a while back, like uh, uh, Jack of all trades and master of none. And we need to look a little bit deeper in what that really means. Like a uh, master of none, mm-hmm. but like the ones that you do have skills in, you excel in. Right. So I'm going to right, excel. I'm going to do my best. So there you go. Leave the stuff I can't do at home where no one's watching. <laughs> That's all that matters, and yeah. and on top of all those things you just mentioned about yourself, you're also uh, you're also a hardcore nerd. You're a big nerd just as much as your husband. I'm is, a right? huge nerd. Yeah, that's why I love cosplay. <laughs> <laughs> a huge nerd. It's like I write comic books because I read comic books and manga and watch anime and play video games, and I, I grew up watching comic book cartoons. And just I also I grew up as a hardcore reader nerd. Like I read books. I've been reading novels since I was a kid. My word. Like, you'd think my grades would have reflected that better, but I was just really forgetful <laughs> and never turned in my homework. Don't beat yourself up. 
do much. <laughs> no, I'm serious. There was one year in high school. I had got a bunch of zeros on some stuff. And my parents are like, we saw you do the homework. We saw you do it. And so they went through my locker at the end of the year and they found all these homework assignments that I never turned in. <laughs> and that's why right. I got bad grades in school because I didn't turn my work in, but I did it. <laughs> Ooh, I'll keep it, keeping up with that. With this, this Jones in particular, she's uh, she does what she wants. It seems like, and I like I'm it. scatterbrained at times. <laughs> I'm here for it. Uh, I got, I got one more question. This is a very, this is a very question I ask to all people who, who are on my show. I ask everyone this quite often. You have done a lot. You said you've been acting since you were in sixth grade. You've been doing a lot of different things, got a lot of different hats, and your creativity has no bounds. It sounds seems like. And there's been a lot of people helping you out and on your on your journey and all this. You've helped me out a few times. Like when I've been struggling with FTO, and like I'm very grateful for that. But uh, what would you want to say to all those people who've had your back and supported you throughout all of this? Um, thank you. Because growing up, I didn't have a lot of support. I was the oldest, so I'm the experiment. The fact. Growing up, when you're the oldest child, you're the experiment. You're the you're the person that's supposed to lead the way for your younger sibling. You're the one the parents are like, mm, I don't know if that's going to work. So when I wanted to get into the arts, my parents were like, eh, I don't know about that. Is that something you can really do with your life? And so like, I fought to go to school for theater. I fought. When my brother came up, he said he wanted to do music. And they said, do it. I was like, well, when I wanted to do arts, you know, I was like, I don't know about so, that. That's not sustainable. I but like. <laughs> I got older and I said, you know what? It took me years to realize that I'm in charge of my own destiny. I'm in charge of what I'm going to do. And the supporters, especially my husband, you've been great. Like my brother is, is always really good to me. Uh, I have a couple of friends, all of them, you the best. So just thank you because it does feel good to have people support you. Even when you're like, I don't need the support to do it, but the support is always welcome. So it feels, it feels pretty good. I hear you. Like, uh, know someone's in your corner. We're like, when you don't feel your best, it's always the best feeling out there. I hear you completely. Mm -hmm. Uh, where, where can people find you? Where can people find you and your work and your upcoming performances? All right, a lot of stuff. So my website is tashij.com, T-O-S-H-I-J.com. Then there's midnightcomics.org. <laughs> and of course, on Instagram, I'm official underscore Tashi J. It's the same on Twitter. Um, Instagram for Midnight Comics is Midnight X Comics. I believe it's the same on Twitter. And then... You can search Tashi J or Midnight Comics on YouTube and you can find us. Wow, that's a mouthful. Well, I, I will put uh, a majority of these in the show notes when <laughs> when when everything drops. And uh, also don't miss out on the Gamers Haven. That is still like a property that you guys still use quite often to talk about video games and and other We've cool things like that. have changed it. Have you? We've rebranded. So, yeah, we changed the Gamers Haven, YouTube, and Twitch account have been all changed to Midnight Comics. Whoa. Yeah, the Gamers Haven will probably be come back in like a few years oh. as what it was originally intended to be, which is a gaming, like an on location spot. That was like the original it. intent. I like it. I'm, I'm, I'm a little nervous, but I'm a little here for it. It's, uh, Ooh, sounds spooky. I'm, I'm in for it. I'm, I want to see what happens. This is going to be fun. Like well, watching the game. I'm curious. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. All right. Well, you're curious. We're curious together, right? On. <laughs> right. All right, everybody. Uh, Tosh, Tosh, thank you so much for being on. Uh, I thank hope you, you guys are. Me. I hope you guys are enjoying the week of midnight. Uh, we got more posts, more interviews, a lot more to come from all the different creators and artists of Midnight Comics. So make sure you guys keep listening to FTL Nerd Talk. And uh, have a good time. I'm D with FGN Nerd Talk. And until next time, you guys take it easy. Midnight is coming. <laughs> nice. <laughs>